The Green Legacy Initiative, launched in June 2019, aimed at building a green and climate resilient Ethiopia. Under this initiative, above 25 billion seedlings have been planted within four years. In an exclusive interview with Amico English Service lecturer and researcher of forestry at Wahadar University, Dr. Desia Safa said the government has to focus on planting indigenous trees, which has ecological benefit to the country. Brown work in our reports. A demonstration of Ethiopia's long-term commitment to a multifaceted response to the impacts of climate change and environmental degradation. In an exclusive interview with Amhara Media Corporation English Service, Dr. Desi Asafa, lecturer of forestry and researcher at Bardar University, said the Green Legacy campaign being implemented across the nation increases productivity, soil moisture, protects siltation from rivers and dams. We can increase uh, percolation in the ground. This means that soil moisture can increase. If soil moisture increases, then productivity can increase. Uh, this is one opportunity. And uh, in the other way, we can protect siltation also from dams and rivers and uh, lakes. And the water flow will increase also. Dr. Desi said planting of indigenous trees is forgotten and lack of seed resources great factor for planting indigenous trees across the nation. However, indigenous trees have immense contribution for ecological restoration in our country. Exotic tree species can be planted for commercial purpose, but for ecological restoration, indigenous trees are the best. Even we do not need to plant. If we conserve the site and protect from free grazing and human interventions, trees can grow uh, or regenerate naturally. In his stay with Amico English Service, Dr. Desi said, the government has to focus on planting indigenous trees adapted to the climate and soil type of the nation than planting exotic ones. As, as an expert, what I advise is uh, indigenous trees already adapted to the, the, the climate and also to the soil, so they can grow easily. Uh, but exotic tree species, they need to adapt the site and takes long time and sometimes the survival is very poor, so we should focus on our own species. They are very nice, for example, Olea, Podocarpus, Juniperus, they are really excellent for economic aspects and also for uh, ecological restoration. Lecturer of forestry and researcher at Baddar University, Dr. Desi recommended that even though indigenous trees are disappearing by now, Planting the site using remnant trees that are already adapted to the climate has significant contribution for restoring the area. Indigenous species, they know they had already adapted there because uh, they are growing for a long time there, even if they disappear it. And there are also indicators there. If you look around, there may be some remnant trees. So this means that trees were growing there before. So that, that leads us what type of species are planted in that specific site. Okay. Uh, so these are good indicators, just using a good, uh, good indicators of remnant trees around churches, for example, or sacred groves, then uh, we, can, we can find species that are suitable to that specific site.